हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रेशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू इवेल्युएट डबल इंटीग्रेशन इन कार्टेशन फॉर्म सो हियर फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज इवेल्युएट डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई इंटू एक्स प्लस वाई डी एक्स डी वाई सो वी आर गोइंग टू इवेल्यूट दिस इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई ओवर द एरिया बिटवीन वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वेर वी नो वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वेर रिप्रेजेंट पैराबोला सिमेट्रिक अबाउट वाई एक्सिस एंड डेट ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स इज स्ट्रेट लाइन बाई सेक्टिंग एक्स वाई प्लेन ओके सो इन लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट मेथड ऑफ इवेल्युएटिंग डबल इंटीग्रेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन नेचर ऑफ कर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ गिवन कर सो हियर रीजन आर इज बाउंडेड बाय वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स सो लेट अस ड्रॉ दिस रीजन सो सी हियर हाउ टू ड्रॉ द रीजन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ड्रॉ वाई एक्सिस देन एक्स एक्सिस एंड दिस इज आर ओरिजिन सो रीजन आर is bounded by parabola y equals to x square so this is the parabola symmetric about y axis so this is the parabola y equals to x square okay also r is bounded by the straight line y equals to x so y equals to x straight line so this is the straight line y equals to x okay so region bounded by these two curves is nothing but this region between this straight line and parabola so this is the shaded region we shows the our we shows our region of integration r we denote this region by shaded region by r okay now if you observe there are two point of intersection first this one and we know its coordinates 0 and 0 and this is second point of intersection but we can't know the coordinates of this second point okay but we know this is the point of intersection of y equals to x and y equals to x square so by solving these two equations we will easily get its point of intersection okay so uh, roughly i solve these two equations so see here i am going to solve y equals to x and y equals to x square so since here y is equals to x so i replace this y by x because y is equals to x so x is equals to x square that is x square minus x equals to 0 so by taking x common here we get x minus 1 equals to 0 so since product of two terms 0 then we take first term equals to 0 and second term that is x minus 1 equals to 0 that is x is equals to 1 so x equals to zero, so this point represent x equals to zero, and uh, this is second point at which value of x is one. So at this point x is equals to one, but we know on this point of intersection y is also equals to x and x is equals to one. So this point of intersection is one comma one. So in this way, while evaluating double integration, first we find coordinates of point of intersection so here we get two point of intersection 0 0 and 1 1 after that we take strip we take strip in this region now here either you consider vertical strip or you consider horizontal strip okay so it's your choice so in this case here i consider vertical strip okay so remember vertical strip this vertical strip always move from left to right vertical strip always move from left to right so at the left at most this strip goes up to this point and at this point at this point limits of x or value of x is zero okay so along this vertical strip so here we take vertical strip we take vertical strip in r and along this strip along this vertical strip 
x varies from 0 x varies from 0 to x equals to at most this trip goes up to this point from this point to this point this trip moves from left to right so at this point x is equals to 1 and hence our x varies from 0 to 1 okay so since here limits of x are constant so limits of y will be functions of x so for finding limits of y we observe bottom of strip and top of strip bottom of bottom of strip gives us lower limit of y and top of strip gives us upper limit of y so bottom of this strip touches where bottom of this strip touches to parabola and from this parabola what is value of y so from this equation of parabola y is equals to x square we always find limits of y or from this vertical strip we always take bottom first and then top so its top touches to this straight line and equation of this straight line is y is equals to x and from this equation what is value of y so y is equals to x so these are limits okay so here i considered vertical strip you may consider horizontal strip and from horizontal strip you may find limits but remember horizontal strip always move from bottom to top horizontal strip always move from bottom to top and vertical strip always move from left to right okay so due to this vertical strip here we considered constant limits of x and limits of y as a functions of x okay and hence our integration i can be written as so i equals to now we always take constant limits outside so here limits of which limits are constant from these limits of x and y limits of x are constant so we take outer integration with respect to x so here x varies from 0 to 1 and inner integration with respect to y and y varies from x square to x and what is our integrand our integrand is our integrand is x y into x plus y so x y into x plus y this is our integrand and inner integration is with respect to y so first we write dy and then we write dx okay so this is the integration okay now first we evaluate this inner integration and inner integration is with respect to y but before that i multiply this bracket by x into y and hence i equals to integration where x varies from 0 to 1 y varies from x square to x square to x due to multiplication by x y here we get x square y plus x y square and inner integration with respect to y so first dy and then dx now we evaluate this integration with respect to y so i equals to i we keep outer integration as it is that is integration where x varies from 0 to 1 we keep this integration as it is and we evaluate this inner integration so see here here we take integration of x square y with respect to y so with respect to y what is role of x so with respect to y here x is constant so this x square is constant and what is integration of y dy integration of y dy is y square by 2 so integration of this first term becomes x square constant as it is and integration of y is y square by 2 okay plus now let us turn towards second term now with respect to y this x is constant and integration of y square is y cube upon 3 so integration of this complete term x y square becomes so x as it is integration of y square is y cube by 3 so this is integration now we apply limits of y what are limits of y x square to 
x okay so here y varies from x square to x okay and we keep dx as it is so here we just evaluated this inner integration and then we apply these limits okay now in next step we apply these limits okay so i equals to outer integration as it is from 0 to 1 now we apply limits of y we always take upper limit first upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit of y is x so we replace y by x so we get x square into x square that is x to the power 4 upon 2 plus x as it is into we replace y by x okay so we get x into x cube that is x to the power 4 divided by 3 so this is upper limit now due to lower limit we take minus sign and what is lower limit of y it is x square so we replace y by x square so y square becomes x to the power 4 x square into x to the power 4 becomes x to the power 6 upon 2 so x to the power 6 upon 2 again we find lower limit of second term so for lower limit we take negative sign okay so x into we replace this y by x square but cube of x square cube of x square becomes x to the power 6 and x to the power 6 into this x becomes x to the power 7 upon 3 so x to the power 7 upon 3 and we apply uh, and then we write dx okay so this is limit of this term okay now we further integrate this term these terms with respect to x okay so i equals to now integration of x to the power 4 is x to the power 5 by 5 and 5 into 2 becomes x to the power 5 by 10 plus now integration of the second term becomes x to the power 5 divided by 5 into 3 that is sorry x to the power 5 divided by 5 into 3 50 minus integration of x to the power 6 becomes x to the power 7 divided by 7 into 2 7 into 2 40 minus integration of x to the power 7 becomes x to the power 8 upon 8 but 8 into 3 24 and we apply limit from 0 to 1 okay so x varies from 0 to 1 so i equals to so first we put upper limit and then minus lower limit okay so first i take upper and lower limits of first term so for upper limit i replace x by 1 so we get 1 by 10 minus lower limit of this term becomes lower limit of x is 0 so lower limit of this term becomes 0 plus upper limit of this term becomes 1 divided by 15 minus its lower limit becomes 0 minus upper li limit of this third term becomes 1 by 14 minus its lower limit becomes 0 minus upper limit of this term becomes 1 by 24 minus its lower limit becomes 0 and hence we get 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 14 minus 1 by 24 and if you calculate this value we get i equals to 3 upon 56 so this is required integration okay so in this way we evaluate double integration if we have given region okay thank you